war declared, any army sent to southeast will die. Namde Kanu claims. President Mohamed Buhari's threat to shock Igos with his civil war experience has prompted the indigenous people of Biafra to respond. On Tuesday, Mr. Buhari said that he would deal with hoodlums damaging state facilities in the southeast area as soon as possible. Many of those who are misbehaving today are too young to remember the carnage and death that occurred during the Nigerian Civil War. Many of us who spent 30 months in the fields and lived through the war would speak to them in their age, he said. His remarks enraged Nigerians, who said he was threatening genocide against one of the country's largest tribes. Most Nigerians believe that the soldiers who are known for the regular violations of human rights and crimes against humanity will extrajudicially kill innocent civilians in response to the president's recent order to shoot on sight. Although the Socialist Party has denied responsibility for the attacks, its paramilitary arm, the Eastern Security Network ESN, is said to be hunting down armed headsmen in the bush. Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has reacted to the Nigerian leader's remark, IPOP. Mr. Kano, who escaped being assassinated in 2017 by the military when they laid a siege at his Aparoko residence in Umwahia, Abia State, says he will not respond to the president who had previously claimed was dead. In a tweet on Wednesday morning, he told the president's spokesman that none of the soldiers sent to the southeast will return alive. Those blaming Kano need their brain checked. The military pushed these guys into picking up arms. How can you be killing peaceful demonstrators and not expect revolt? In the case of Lekki, that thousands watched live streaming on social media, what has been or what has the government done other than threatening fire and brimstone? Has he been tough to quell Boko people, which is an ideology? Someone should tell Buari that claiming to be tough all the time isn't the best approach. He should dialogue with these guys. If Yadwa had followed the steps he's taken now, there won't be any country for him to govern. A word is enough for the wise. The Igbos are the only binding factor keeping this country together. Image a country without them. See, let me tell you something, my dear viewers. Right from the beginning, Bwari has developed hatred for the Igbos from the beginning. That is what we don't know. Bwari doesn't have a single law for the Igbos. Bwari coming into government is to come and destabilize the Southeast completely. Is to come and, you know, cause a complete disaster in the Southeast. Bwari have a natural hatred for the Igbos. Bwari has come to, you know, um, destroy all that the Igbos has, 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 has been able to put up together over the years. You look at what is happening in the Southeast of recent. Look at, look at all that has been destroyed in the Southeast. Look at the number of lives that has been destroyed that has been killed. Look at the number of people that have gone down. I don't need to tell you all this. All these are what the Igbos, the Igbos are going through. For you to know that Buari already have the Igbos in mind before coming in, the Nigerians, 
prominent Nigerians have called for it to order. International observers have called for it to order. Personalities, dignitaries have called for it to order. Did he listen? Did he? He never listened. And he will never listen. And the painful part of it again is that our so-called Igbo leaders, who are supposed to stand up for the people and speak for the people, are standing by the side of the president just for their own selfish interest. You see that? So all these things are what we are lamenting of and saying that the president hasn't done well. And when you keep saying it, a lot of persons who doesn't know anything, who doesn't know anything, will be saying what is not. All right? There is no problem. We are all into this together. Do you understand? We are all into this together. You see, one thing is for sure. Ndigo will always be there to defend themselves, no matter the circumstance, and no matter what anyone, anyone has got to say or do. All right? But one thing that needs to be done with immediate effect is a quick, a quick um, remedy to the situation that is going on in the southeast. A quick remedy, a quick solution, a quick um, decision need to be taken. Need to be taken or else more lives will go down. More lives will go down. People are, have already died enough. They have died enough. So there is need for um, uh, there is need for, for immediate uh, uh, action to put an end to this menace that is ravaging the southeast. Namdekanu have lamented. Um, uh, uh, international uh, uh, personalities, the British High Commissioner, uh, ambassadors have also lamented. Yet, Buhari is still uh, head bent doing what he's doing. <laughs> I laugh. Okay, my viewers, what do you think? I would like you to come in at least and air your own opinion concerning this. If you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the red subscribe button as well as the bell button to receive more 